This is Daniel from Idlerid and in this short video I want to explain what different type of ice axe picks there are, how you can sharpen them, how you can prepare them for different applications and also present out here what type of effect it has and uh, to show this and start this we do a short jump into our workshop at Idlerid. In general there are two models available on the market. A pure ice climbing pick or a pick for ice climbing, mix climbing or dry tooling. Both picks start with 4mm cross section in the head of the ice axe, but the ice climbing pick then is reduced to 3, 3.2mm to the front of the pick, whereas the mix climbing pick stays 4mm in cross section the whole length. We do this to reduce the explosion effect when hitting the ice on the pure ice climbing pick, whereas we want to have the full strength also in the front tooth on the mixed climbing pick. The second big difference of the two ice axe picks you can see sideways, so you see a different teeth geometry. Uh, you also on the, on the mixed climbing pick you have the teeth also on the top of the head. This to create some friction when you're in a stein pull in dry tooling. So the tooth is on the hook and the head of the ice axe is touching the wall. And here you want to create friction and prevent the ice axe to slip out of the hook. That much about geometry of ice axe picks. A typical damage that happens to ice axe picks is that you hit the front tooth directly against the rock. Either you have too much swing or you have snow on rock and you think it's ice or the ice is not thick enough and um, this usually either bends backward the first front tooth so it creates a small hook or it just simply dullens the, the front tooth and in both cases the ice axe pick needs to be repaired. Uh, you need to sharpen it and I will now show you how to do this. When you want to work on your ice axe picks, three important details. First of all, take the pick out of the ice axe, it makes it easier to clamp it properly. Second, you need a proper vise. And third, you need a proper file. Don't grind your ice axe pick with machines. The material that we're using is hardened and when you use a machine to sharpen the ice axe pick, it will get hot, the material will get hot and this will damage the hardening, the material will get too soft afterwards. You can see the front tooth is bent backwards and it's dull and this is the spot that we want to repair. So first we grind the bottom surface of the front tooth. Therefore we clamp it as close as possible to the vise. Try to match the original angle. Now you can see the bottom surface is flat already and now we need to sharpen from the front. Try to keep the original angle and also try to keep the surface flat and not to round the front surface. The bottom surface of the front tooth is straight again and the front angle is also flat and straight again and you can see the front tooth is really sharp now. So now you can see the, the front edge is really sharp. This is perfect for hooking and scratching in the ice. In case you want to reduce the explosion effect, you can just take out the, the first half millimeter of this sharp front edge and make a flat surface here and by this you will reduce the explosion effect a lot. When you repair your front tooth too often in that way, it will get smaller and smaller. And like on this ice axe pick now, you can see the first tooth is almost gone. You can either throw it away now and replace it by a new one, or you can take out the second tooth and by this increase the size of the first tooth again. So this is the second tooth that we want to take out and for this work I prefer to use a semi-round file and then with the round surface I can easily take out the second tooth. So now you see 
we took out the second tooth and created a new first tooth and now we grind out the burrs and also sharpen the front tip again. So you see we took out the second tooth and created a new and bigger first tooth and by sharpening the front edges again the first tooth got really sharp and pointy again. You can not only repair ice axe picks, you can also sharpen and tune them according to your personal needs or to create different effects. First option of how to tune an ice axe blade. This is a mixed blade and I mainly want to use it for waterfall climbing, for ice climbing, but still keeping the option of having a, a rock hook every now and then. As I said, I have 4mm width at the front, which is creating a bigger explosion effect than on pure ice axe picks. So the best here would be to reduce the cross section at the front and I can do this either sideways to reduce it down to the spoken 3.2 millimeters. Better is to do it in a triangular shape to keep the big cross section at the bottom of the ice axe to prevent it from cutting through soft ice and still reducing the diameter of the ice axe pick from the top and by this reducing the explosion effect. So now we don't grind purely parallel on the sides, but we do a more triangular shape. Now it's not parallel, but you see the triangular shape and by this we create also a triangular shape in the front view. And this is how an ice axe pick can look like when you tuned it perfectly according to this instruction. Second option is to improve the functionality in dry tooling and mix climbing. Uh, usually when the ice axe pick is new it comes with this edge and this improves the functionality in pure ice. But it creates a disadvantage that when you're on a very tiny rock hook and you change the angle of the pick, this corner, this edge can push the front tip of the rock hook. So by rounding this angle you can reduce this effect a lot. Another option for tuning your ice axe pick is working on the angle of the front tooth. So in case you want to use the ice axe pick mainly for dry tooling and mix climbing, it's better to have a very flat angle here to increase the strength of the first tooth. This is also a good geometry in case you climb in pure ice with a lot of power. The less the angle on the front tooth is, the less explosion effect you will create. When you want to climb in a low impact style and you rather cut your way into the ice, it's better to have a sharper angle on the first tooth. But take into consideration when you then work with a lot of power, it will increase the explosion effect. When you finished your tuning and you're ready to set your ice axe together again, note that all the picks are not made from stainless steel and they will start to rust. So the best is to use some grease and polish the, the pick before you set the ice axe together again. When setting your ice axe together, use a small Allen key and hand torque. Absolutely enough, most people damage their screws by using too much torque. All right, so you saw there are a lot of different type of ice axes and especially a lot of types of how you can prepare them in a special way. Um, but I think there is not the one and only truth, there is not the one type of tool for that type of uh, climbing style or application. So don't be afraid to play around, prepare old ice axe picks in, in different ways and go out and play and see what type of effect it has.